The universe is a very big place. There are trillions of galaxies, each one home to millions of stars and an unimaginable number of planets. So where is everybody? One of the most basic philosophical questions is, are we alone? Are we the only ones looking out and thinking, what is all this? Is it all just for us? Or do we get to share it with anyone? I mean, that's about as fundamental a question as you get. What are the odds of life existing somewhere else? We just don't have a good insight to how probable life is anywhere in the universe. Life could possibly be forming everywhere. We, we don't quite know. There's a lot about life that we don't understand. All we know is that it happened at least once. But beyond this one little planet, we don't know whether or not it happened anywhere else. The universe is an unfriendly place. Planets with lava oceans circle too close to their stars. Pulsars blaze with deadly gamma rays and X-rays. Black holes consume everything in their path. Temperatures plummet close to absolute zero. It may seem impossible for life to survive in such hostile environments. But here on Earth, life exists against the odds in some very strange places. Life has actually permeated every part of our planet. There are places where you're like, how did you even get there? At first glance, a beautiful lake might seem like a good place for life. But California's Salton Sea is no paradise. The toxic salt waters are a killer. Surrounded by scorched desert and volcanic geothermal fields. It's a deadly environment. One of the last places on Earth you'd expect to find life would be in boiling mud vents. You can start to hear these vents because there's gas and there's water and mud slurry that's coming out right here. So these are active mud volcanoes. It's really hot. It's like 164 degrees Fahrenheit. But life is resilient, finding a home even here, inside volcanic vents in the California desert. We're in the middle of a really hot desert, and as the mud comes up, it's coming up hot, and it's kind of acid, and yet there can be microbes in environments like this happily thriving away. This is an environment that is actually conducive to life, even though we think it might not be. Almost every inch of the Earth's surface is teeming with microscopic life forms. The thing about life on Earth is that it exists in so many different environments under such harsh and extreme conditions. It's like it hangs on no matter what you throw at it. Very dry, high pressure, very hot, even uh, in high radiation environments, which would kill a human within seconds. Life even survives being bombed with asteroids and meteorites. We have a wonderful indirect example of just how tenacious life is, and that's the fact that it survived the late heavy bombardment. The late heavy bombardment was a violent assault on young Earth, where life had just gotten a foothold. Experts think around Four billion years ago, asteroids, comets, and space debris rained down on the inner solar system. This rocky barrage would have melted parts of the Earth's crust and boiled away oceans. It was a violent time, called the Hadean period. The Hadean, named after Hades, named after the underworld, after hell. It was a brutally unpleasant place to be. It was spewing its own innards out onto the surface in this intense cycle of, of hot volcanism. If life on Earth overcame these hellish conditions, then perhaps life can survive 
anywhere. I think if it can happen on Earth, I think it can happen on other planets. I think life finds a way, and I think we need to go looking for it. The question is, what exactly are we looking for? What is life? You know, that seems like a simple question, but it's not that easy to answer. Life is incredibly hard to define, right? It's sort of like you know it when you see it, but how do you write down the rules? Every time we think we have a grasp, there's this new form that comes about and completely questions that entire definition. There's a joke in astrobiology that if you ask 200 scientists for a definition of life, you'll get 200 different answers. Life can be as intricate as us humans, or as simple as single-celled organisms, like bacteria. But there are some things all life forms do. In broad terms, life consumes things. It breathes, it eats, it excretes, it grows, it reproduces, it's complex. Life has transformed the Earth in all sorts of ways. But life is still just an accident. Life, as I see it, is just a chemical reaction, but it's the most important and special chemical reaction in the universe. If life is just a product of chemistry, then what are the odds of it starting anywhere in the universe? One thing we know about chemistry is that given the right conditions, the same chemical reaction will reliably occur. It's like a game of chance. For life to win, the conditions need to be just right. But to figure out the odds, we need to understand what those conditions are and how common they are. So it comes down to a numbers game. It's about statistics and probabilities and likelihoods. It's like having to roll a six for each condition for life. But how many sixes would you need? How many precise conditions does life require to get going? You might have a hundred dice. Roll them all, get all sixes, only then do you get life. You could need hundreds or hundreds of thousands of dice. We just don't know. We honestly have no clue how common or rare life is in the universe. We don't know how life originated here on Earth, where we kind of understand the conditions. There are a lot of different ways life could have started. Is life rare? Is life common? We don't know where it lands. Putting odds on life existing is a waste of time, until we understand it better. And maybe our answers don't lie here on Earth. One way to crack this problem is to go looking for life elsewhere. If we can find other examples of life, we can immediately begin to put a quantitative answer to how probable it is for life to happen anywhere. And the best place to look for life might be in our own backyard, Mars. If life can start here, then maybe life could conquer the universe.